In Lesson 12.2, you will analyze arithmetic sequences and series. In an arithmetic sequence, the difference of consecutive terms is constant. The nth term of an arithmetic sequence with first term a sub 1 and common difference d is given by this formula. In our first problem, we want to tell whether the sequence is arithmetic. So we check for a common difference. We subtract two terms in a row. 11 take away 5 gives us 6. And now we check to see that we can add 6 to each term to get the next term. 5 plus 6 is 11. 11 plus 6 is 17. 17 plus 6 is 23. And 23 plus 6 is 29. So our test holds, and we can say yes this sequence is a special arithmetic sequence. In problem two, we'll look for a common difference. We can subtract any two terms in a row, so I'm going to subtract three, take away zero to get three. But I can see right away when I add three to negative ten, I'm not going to get negative six. So the test fails, and we can say no, this sequence is not a special arithmetic sequence. Here we want to write a rule for the nth term of the sequence, then find a sub 20. Well, the nth term is a sub n equals the first term a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times the common difference d. So we need a first term, and we need a common difference to write a rule for the nth term. So all we have to do to get that common difference in this first problem is to subtract 47, take away 32, gives us 15. So now we can write our rule for the nth term. We can substitute in the first term of 32, and we can substitute in that common difference of 15. Now this is linear, so we want to get rid of parentheses and add like terms on the right and leave this equation in, a, in an acceptable form. So distributing, I'm going to get 15n minus 15 and adding like terms, I find out that a sub n is equal to 15n plus 17. So here's our rule, and now we can use it to find the 20th term in this sequence, this arithmetic sequence. All we have to do is substitute in 20 for n in our rule, and simplify on the right. So I'm getting 300 plus 17 or the 20th term in this sequence is 317. Okay, in problem two, we're given the eighth term in the common difference. If we're going to write a rule, we need that first term. So we can use our nth term rule to find that uh, first term. We can put 50 in for a sub n. It's equal to the first term plus 8 minus 1 times that common difference of 1 fourth. Simplifying on the right, I've got 8 minus 1, which is 7, and 7 times 1 fourth is 7 fourths. So to get a sub 1, I'll subtract 7 fourths from both sides. I'll write 50 as 200 fourths. Take away that 7 fourths. So that's going to give me 193 fourths for a first term in this arithmetic sequence. So now I have the first term and the common difference. I can write a rule for the nth term. Substitute in 193 fourths for the first term and that common difference of 1 fourth. Okay, and now distributing on the right. I get 1 fourth n minus 1 fourth adding like terms, I have 1 fourth n plus 192 fourths, and that's going to simplify. So our rule is a sub n is equal to 1 fourth n plus 48. And now we can use that rule to find the 20th term. All we would have to do is substitute 20 in for n and simplify. In problem three, we're given two terms in an arithmetic sequence, but we need the first term and the common difference. So to find that, we're going to write a system of equations. We're going to put 10 in for a sub n, and it's equal to the first term, which we're looking for, plus 5 minus 1 
times the common difference, which we're looking for. And we can write a second equation using that 30th term of 110. It's also equal to the first term plus 30 minus 1 times the common difference. So cleaning up those equations, I've got 10 equals a sub 1 plus 40. And 110 equals a sub 1 plus 29d. And now to solve for a sub 1 and d, I'm going to use elimination. I'm going to choose to multiply negative 1 on both sides of that first equation, distributing on the right, and then add the two equations together. So I have negative 10 is equal to negative a sub 1 minus 4d added to 110 is equal to a sub 1 plus 29d. So on the left we get 100. On the right our a sub 1 term summed to 0 and our d term summed to 25d. So d we can find by dividing both sides by 25. This common difference is 4. Now I can use either equation to find a sub 1 and I'll choose the first equation in our system. And I'll substitute in 4 for d and multiply. And then subtract 16 from both sides to find out the first term is equal to negative 6. Now we have the first term and the common difference so we can write our nth term rule. And simplifying, distributing on the right, 4n minus 4 and adding like terms. The nth term rule is 4n minus 10. And now again you can use that nth term rule to find the 20th term or any term of this arithmetic sequence. On this page, one term of an arithmetic sequence is a sub 27 equals 263. The common difference is d equals 11. We want to write a rule for the nth term and then graph the first six terms of the sequence. So if we're going to write a rule for the nth term, we need the first term and the common difference. The common difference is given. You can find the first term using the 27th term of 263. It's equal to the first term plus 27 take away 1 times 11. And on the right hand side we have 26 times 11 which is 286 and subtracting 286 from both sides to get a sub 1 alone. We find out the first term is negative 23. Now we have the first term and the common difference so we can write a rule for the nth term. It's equal to that first term plus n minus 1 times that common difference of 11. So we'll distribute on the right and add like terms. So our rule is a sub n is equal to 11n minus 34. Okay, and now we want to graph the first six terms so we'll make a table of values. And our domain values will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 for these first six terms. In the first term we found it's negative 23. We can find consecutive terms by adding our common difference of 11. So negative 23 plus 11 is negative 12. Negative 12 plus 11 is negative 1. Negative 1 plus 11 is 10. 10 plus 11 is 21. And 21 plus 11 is 32. So we'll graph. I'll label my axes. And graph 1, negative 23, 2, negative 12, 3, negative 1, 4, 10, 
521 and 632. And you can see that the terms of the sequence when graphed form a line on the coordinate plane. The expression formed by adding the terms of an arithmetic sequence is called an arithmetic series. The sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic series is found using this formula. In problem 1, we want to find the sum of the arithmetic series that's given in summation notation or sigma notation. So we're summing 28 terms. And n in our formula is 28. We need the average of the first term and the 28th term. To find the first term, we would just put 1 in for i. 4 times 1 is 4, and 4 plus negative 2 is 2. To find the last term, the 28th term, we'll put 28 in for i. And 28 times 4 is equal to 112. 112 plus negative 2 is 110. So I just need to simplify. And I can divide 28 by 2 and get 14. And I need to multiply that to 112. So I'm going to find out that the sum of the 28 terms in this series is 1,568. In problem 2, we want to find the sum of the first 25 terms of the arithmetic series that's given. So we'll use our formula to sum 25 terms. It's equal to n, which is 25, times the average of the first term and the 25th term. I know that the first term is 20, but I don't know what the 25th term is. So we can use our nth term formula to find that 25th term. It's equal to the first term plus 25, take away 1, times the common difference. And the common difference we can find by subtracting. 18 take away 20 tells me that the common difference is negative 2. So I'll substitute that in. And then I'll simplify on the right-hand side to get this 25th term in our series. So I have 24 times negative 2, or 20 minus 48, or this 25th term is equal to negative 28. So now I'll substitute that in. And I'll simplify. I have 25 times negative 8 divided by 2, or 25 times negative 4. So the sum of these 25 terms in this series is negative 100. Include with your notes of this video guided practice problems 1 through 5 on pages 802, 804, and 805 of your textbook.